Do 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 do. Battery lessons with Tim. Meow. So today's making a pottery tool. We're gonna make rubbery bats. So I use rubbery bats to trim low flat things, bowls and stuff. They do minimal damage, if no damage, to the rims of things. You don't use any lugs to hold it on. Um, whereas if you're using, you know, just a plain bat. You got the lugs, which means you can't trim the whole piece if you were going to trim the whole piece. Also, the uh, the wheel head itself or a bat can give a little damage or flatten off your, your rim. These don't have a tendency to do that. They're also a little stickier, so all you need to hold your piece down is a little bit of pressure. And uh, so much easier, so much quicker. All right, so what you will need, you'll need a bat. A wooden bat, preferably of some sort of plywood, is best. The uh, This material is pretty waterproof, so even using water on the surface of it, it doesn't go through and wreck what's underneath. But it does need to be some sort of wood so that we can staple into the side. Um, this is a three-quarter inch sanded um, plywood of some sort. It might be the birch plywood. I'm not sure. Somebody gave me a whole bunch of these. So how do I turn them into rubber bats? You will need toolbox shelf liner. And they make a lot of different kinds of this. What I have found works best is, I don't know if we can get to that. You can see that there is cord in this so that each of these little lines here prevents it from stretching, which makes it really strong and doesn't rip. There are other toolbox shelf liners that do not have that little cord in it. And it rips really easy. No bueno. There's also a toolbox shelf liner that has a highly textured surface and ones that have holes completely through it. Those don't work either. You want to find one that's smooth, that's rubbery, and that has the cords. This has two different sides. This has a kind of a rib side and a slightly bumpy side. I've been using the bumpy side. Seems to work best. To make this happen... I take my, oh yeah, you're gonna need a staple gun of some sort. I'm using uh, 5 16th staples. They don't have to go in far. They're not going through a thick material or anything, but what they do need to do is uh, go in all the way. So if we have too long of a staple, then they stick out and then you're dealing with all these little sticky outfits. So a short staples, short staple is good enough. And you need a good staple gun. Okay. And then we just cut. I mean, I'm not going to be able to get two out of this, but I am going to go all the way to one side so that I get my next one will go there so I can get a little more out of it. I am going to cut with a pair of scissors around. Let me give myself enough around it so that I got something to pull on. And we're going to kind of do this like a canvas. Anybody who's stretched canvas, they know the, the joys and glories of that. But too much makes it a pain in the butt. Okay, now we got that. Now it's easy to line up directly across from each other if you use little bat pinholes. So I'm just going to fold one side over and I'm going to staple close to the top edge. So I'm going to put the staple gun right up, right up so it's flush there. I'm going to push down at it and staple, right? And I'm going to go across the other side. I'm going to pull it tight. I'm going to fold it over. I'm going to staple, all right? And like that. Now, I'm going to do that going across from it, pulling it tight, stapling it all the way around. I am not going to make you sit through all that. I will be back after I've stapled it all. Okay. Okay, so I have now stapled it all the way around, right? You can see the staples make wrinkles because we're putting something around something else. I'm just going to cut off all of the extra with a pretty new X-Acto knife. So 
so easy, right? And then you'll have your rubber bat. If you've seen some of the live streams and stuff, you may have seen me using these. I just made a whole bunch for playscapes. So we don't have to fight over the few that are there. There we go. That easy. Voila.